This is the package I was waiting for. It had both fairy shrimp and try up eggs in there. Uh, they didn't cost me all that much, but it took a month to get here, so I was eagerly awaiting for a very long time. I am super excited to get started on trying to hatch these guys. So these guys are a type of fairy shrimp, a very, very small type. There's also these little other guys running around. I'm not sure exactly what they are. But again, we didn't get any try ups. So everything you're going to need to do this project is right in front of me and I'm doing both fairy shrimp and tryouts. So without further ado, let me show you how I'm going to set it all up. So I've went ahead and added a very, very thin layer of rocks to both of these because I want them to lay their eggs and they won't lay eggs if there is no substrate at all. Um, substrate is very temperamental for these guys so do some research before you pick what you use. Um, but I'm going with some gravel because I don't have the appropriate sand. The next thing I'm going to want to do is take the eggs and put them into their tanks. So first off we're going to do the tryouts. As you can see the eggs are pretty much a fine powder. There's apparently 300 eggs in there. I'm going to try and spread them around evenly. There's a lot more fairy shrimp eggs, but again, it's pretty much a powder. There should be about a thousand in here. You're going to need to use natural spring water ozonated. Don't want to disturb everything too, too much, but I'm going to slowly fill it up and try and get any of the eggs that seem to float and try and get them to sink. Now I'm going to turn the light on, move them to the back, and uh, we wait. The one last thing I forgot to add was this leaf litter. What this will end up doing is slowly dissolving nutrients into the water that will help them for the first couple of days and then they can move on to the bigger shrimp food. So the way this is going to work in the long run is I put the eggs in, hopefully they hatch, they get their first little bit of nutrients out of these leaves. After these leaves are done in a couple of days, I take all the little bits of leaves out and I'll start feeding them their food. Again, I'll just be giving them very tiny amounts and a couple hours after I feed them, I'll take what I've given them that they haven't eaten out and uh, complete that cycle until you actually visually see them laying some eggs and then you can move them out of this tank into another tank and uh, start the drying process to dry out the eggs because these eggs need to dry fully before they can hatch again. And then uh, once you have a bunch of dry sand you can uh, strain it, clean it up and hatch yourself some more babies. When I get to that point I'll give you guys a video on how all of that is done. <laughs> 